Today we want to look at the Springfield XDM 5.25. This one's in 40 caliber and uh, very nice gun. It's made for competition, of course. Um, you can see the competition sights there on the back. They're adjustable for windage and elevation. It's got the light gathering uh, red uh, front sight on there. It's got a cut out on the top to lighten it up a little bit. And in this configuration, it's got uh, it's a long gun, 5.25 inches long. Uh, it comes with a pretty nice trigger out of the box. Uh, I have not done anything to modify this one. Uh, some guys do when they want to go compete, but I haven't done anything on this one. Still shoots pretty good. Um, it, uh, it's got a good magazine capacity for smart 40 Smith & Wesson, 16 rounds it'll take, uh, which is pretty nice um, in 40 caliber. And uh, now there's not one chambered here. I'm going to... 16 rounds in 40 caliber. That's pretty nice. Match uh, barrel. Um, and uh, that's it. So we're going to shoot it some today. Uh, put it through its paces. Haven't had this one out in a while. So we're going to do some shooting and see how she does. Should be fun. Okay, here we go. This stake right here is 10 yards. So we're about we're 10 yards out from the target. And uh, we'll see, see how she does. Well, first we'll uh, rack around in, make her hot, holster. I'll put on my ear protection, and we'll give her a run. There we go. Here we go. Headshot. Okay, this gun is set to shoot at a 6 o'clock position, so I have to remember to shoot it a little uh, lower, so I'm going to drop the sight, front sight down a little lower uh, than, than uh, if I was trying to shoot uh, to the center point uh, on some guns. This one's going to, you're going to have to aim a little low, uh, but that's the way this one is set up. We'll go down and look at those. They're all clustered down there pretty well. And uh, we'll take a look and see how we did. Okay, I don't know if you can see it that well, but this is a anatomy type target. So let's get this grass out of the way here. This is an anatomy type target. So there's all the ones in the center. You'll see there's one, two, three, four, five in the heart two in the lungs. We'll come up here in the head and there's one, two, three, four uh, in the head. Uh, obviously would have been a stopping shot. Uh, there are also two of those went through the spine so uh, it gives you an idea if you're shooting defensive um, you know what you want to shoot at but using that anatomy it's just barely very lightly uh, printed in there behind so anyway uh, gives you a good idea what we're looking at and she shoots pretty good. We'll go out to a longer distance this time and uh, See how it does at uh, 30 feet. Okay, we're at about 25 yards here and uh, We'll shoot. There's a little circle in the corner in the top right corner 
We'll shoot for that and see how accurate we can be at 25 yards. Reload. Try some more. Let's get out and see what we did. This is 25 yards out. All right, there we are. Wow. We had some, some that were in there. Had some flyers there, 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 there. That's me. I need to get more practice, obviously. Had a couple of them in there, but I threw some out, so I definitely need to tighten that up. Like I said, I haven't been out in a long time. Basically haven't been out at all since the winter. So let's go and uh, we'll try some more. Um, we'll shoot, shoot for this other side over here and see what we can get, see if we can group any better. Hot and muggy today, very hot and muggy. Oh, all right. Try some more, we'll shoot for the other side this time. Well, we must have hit the tooth or the clothesline that was, uh, or the clothespin that was holding that on. Let's go down and take a look. Well, looks like we scattered them around a little bit. There, 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 there. Kind of scattered them out. Need to. I was aiming for these words right in here. That's what I could see. So I was pulling a little left and and uh, high. So I need to remember that where this gun shoots. All right. All right. Well, we'll do some more shooting here. Obviously, practice is the key to this, isn't it?
shooting for the lower portion of the head. I can see I've thrown a couple off to the left. I'm drifting to the left a little bit. That's me, obviously. Um, I need to stabilize that a little. So let's try it. Try see if I can get it a little tighter through. All right, that time I was shooting shooting for here, the lower area, and I got some here, 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 drifted out into here. I keep drifting to the left. It looks like I drifted left up here, drifted left in here, and a little bit in here. So I'm consistently going to the left, and up here I was a little left as well. Now since this has some sight corrections on it, I, I can correct. Uh, that now at shorter distance down in here, this was only like uh, seven yards. Uh, I was I was more more on, but as the distance opens up, you can see my left drift is more pronounced. As that distance opened up at 25 yards, I did get a much more pronounced drift to the left. So uh, I'm definitely going this way. I probably need to watch that in my grip and my firing position and my trigger control but maybe also adjust the sights back just a little uh, this way so that might be something I need to do so let's try a different target we'll put something else up and uh, we'll just practice uh, trigger control and uh, and uh, just shooting the gun I I used to shoot this gun a lot in competition but it's been a while it's been a couple of years so um, when you start throwing them off like this, that's not that's not very good. That's not what you want. So, all right, let's give it another try. Okay, a couple of new targets, some blocks of wood down there. We'll see what we can do on those. Knocked one of them off, so we must have hit it a couple of times. Try to knock the other one off. Ah, there it goes. All right, we'll turn the camera around and look at the targets this time. What we're shooting today are my reloads, and um, they're uh, 100 and uh, I think they're 165 grain, uh, 40 caliber uh, jacketed, and we're using tight group uh, as the powder, and uh, it seems to work great in this gun, and uh, so far so good. So it's given me, I think, pretty good uh, uh, work. It works the gun well, and uh, I haven't had any hang-ups, and I don't expect to get a hang-up out of the gun. Sometimes the ammo will do it if it's not reloaded quite right, but I haven't had any trouble with this. But because it's a 40 cal, it's a little bigger, and it'll knock those blocks uh, of wood off. I've tried this with the 9mm, and it just kind of pokes holes in them and doesn't do much, but uh, the 40 caliber will knock them over, so uh, you know, that, that works pretty good. We got a few left. Oh, we'll keep on going. Have some more fun. Okay, we've got multiple targets now. A couple of pieces of wood and six soda cans. Empty soda cans, that is. Uh, I'm too cheap to shoot full soda cans. I like to drink the soda first. But uh, So we'll shoot and see how, uh, 
how we can pick it off. We'll shoot from about uh, seven yards here. Last magazine. Last magazine. Here we go. All right, we'll shoot out the rest of this mag and then we'll. Take another close look at the gun. All right, here we go. Out of the holster. Three rounds left. Three rounds, two little 12 gauge shot shells sitting there. See if I can get those. I can't even hardly see them. We'll give it a try. Here we go. Nope, one still standing. That's it, last mag. So what do I think about this gun? I really, really, but I really, really like this uh, this gun. I like Springfield XDs anyway, but uh, I like this one. Uh, you get it's 40 caliber. You get a pretty good uh, uh, charge out of it, but because it's big, it's five and a quarter inches long. It's fairly heavy. Uh, you don't feel it. It's easy to shoot. Um, I do really like it. I would I would say this is definitely uh, worth the money. And uh, if you are thinking about doing any kind of uh, USPSA, uh, IPSC type competition, this would be a great way to start. Uh, you can get trigger kits for these and tune them up a little, but uh, basically it's already set to go. And uh, I shot the USPSA Limited uh, with this gun, and I, I had a lot of fun doing it. So uh, I like it. And, you know, it, it's obviously not a concealed carry gun, but if you want a gun for uh, fun shooting, for competition, home defense, hey, 16 rounds of 40 caliber, can't beat it. So uh, I like it. Thanks for watching. See you later.